Okay, guys, uh, this is Afiq, and actually a friend requested of me um, to make a video on a subject um, that we have for IGCSE math, and as you know, our mocks are happening like right now, and I uh, decided to make this video to maybe like shed some light on the issue and how I solve these kind of like problems and like the process I go through, and um, a lot of it is stuff that you may already know, so you can skip ahead if you would like. Um, yeah, thank you. The areas, the axes, I'm going to try to use little darker lines. So this is the axes here, and this is the, you can, you can see. So this is the uh, inequalities using graphs. Okay, so the question is, what are the inequalities, what are the inequalities that bound this unshaded region here, this this triangle that that we have to find a way, okay? And so we have three lines of which they kindly don't tell us because they want to make it hard for us. But hopefully you can calculate, I mean hopefully you, you're able to find equations of lines and that is sort of a prerequisite to this figure. Um, so yeah, so let's let's go Let's go around finding the equation of line first, and then maybe that will give us some insight into how we can solve this problem how, um, even further. So yeah, we have this shaded, this this unshaded region over here. I'm just gonna make this cleaner. This unshaded region over here. This is the origin. So let's do this line first. Okay. So we have three inequalities, and each of which I will show with a separate dotted line. Okay, so we have to. What are these inequalities? So, um, as you can see, because there are three lines, there will be three inequalities that much we know. And I'm just going to do this vertical line here. So, first of all, we want to find out the equation of each line. And since this is a vertical line and it's not slanting or anything, then we can say that no matter what value of y, x always is 4 because it is on this point 4 here so we already know that this value this this um, equation of the line is x equals 4 no questions about it um, all right so that's this vertical line over here and for this horizontal line over here well we can tell that because no matter what x is y is always equal to minus 2, so we can already tell that this line is y equals minus 2, right? Because it is intersecting this point minus 2. You may not be able to see it so clearly, but yes, it is y equals minus 2, which is this horizontal, nice and horizontal line here. And to mix it up a bit, um, to mix it up a bit, we actually have a slanted line. We have a slanted line. So. Um, we know that the gradient would be 1, so if we were to look at it in a formula of y equals mx plus c, then we know the gradient will be 1, because if you just look here, it's a rise over run, so it rises by 1 and it crosses 1, so y, the gradient will be 1, so the y equals x plus c. And to find C, we just look where it crosses, where it crosses the, um, crosses the y-axis. Or you could say, okay, so it crosses the y-axis at the point where x equals zero, obviously. So you, you could say that C represents the y-intercept. So where does where does this line cross the y-axis? We just trace here, then we can see that it crosses the y-axis at minus one. So c equals minus 1. And now we have an, an equation that we can actually use and that is let me just rub this out here. I mean like a friend told me to record this video and yeah. So y equals x minus 1. Okay. So a lot of stupid mistakes that 
that um, I would make, <laughs> I would make especially, is trying to find the inequalities bounded in the shaded region. But we want to find the inequalities bounded in the unshaded region. Unshaded region. <laughs> okay. So, the tough part is, well, we have the x equals 4 and the y equals minus 2. And we have the y equals x minus 1 as our, our three equations, which somehow link to the unshaded region. But we don't know, we don't know how the inequalities would be, as in we don't know how they would work. So, the first thing to determine is if it is more than or less than or more than or equal to or less than or equal to. And hopefully I would shed some light on that. Okay, so what do black lines represent? So we have really thick black lines here which, which the question paper will show you. And they basically mean more than or equal to or less than or equal to. So that's, they're all black lines, so we can all safely assume that it's either that or that. And basically what, the, what you want to try to find out is, okay, well, how do we know if it's more than or equal to or less than or equal to? So, the way to do that is if you tackle each, um, each equation one by one separately. Remember, the key is doing this separately and thinking about it. Okay, so because we're doing the unshaded region, um, let's focus on, let's say, this line here. Okay, we'll do this line first. So this, this equation here, and I hope you can see this, but this equation here is x equals 4, right? So we want to get, we don't want this, un, this shaded region here, but we do want this unshaded region over here. So if you're dealing with the unshaded region, well, that means it has to be in this direction, right? Your all your values, which are all your values, which count, has to be on this side. And yeah, you guess it. If all the values which count have to be on this side, that means they all have to be less than four, right? Because this is your these are your x values. And if you can't, if this if this um thing is this area is forbidden, then if all your values are on this side, then it has to be less than or equal to 4. And we can show that it's equal to because, less than or equal to because it is a thick black line. And if it's a dotted line, that's when it's just less than. But if it's a thick black line, it's less than or equal to. So, well, we basically say, alright, all our x values have to be on this side, and therefore they all have to be less than or equal to 4. So, that is one inequality which we have, which is, <laughs> it's a lot to say, but I'll keep going. Uh, this is hard, I thought. All right, less than, x has to be less than or equal to 4. And that is our first inequality, yes. Finally, gosh. All right, now, applying the same logic, we can see that, all right, in this unshaded region here, which we want, and focusing on this line here, which is y equals minus 2, then you can say, all right, then all your values have to be on this side. Your values have to be on this side of the line. So, by that logic, if you look at your range of y values here, well, you say, all right, all your values have to be more than minus 2. And we can tell it's minus 2 because we found the equation, which is y equals minus 2. And we can show that with the line here. But the hard part is finding which side to put it on. And the easiest way to think of it, and I was like, and this is easy, and say, okay, if your y value is less than minus 2, let's say minus 3, it's going to end up in the shaded region, which is what you don't want. But if it's more than minus 2, it's going to end up in the unshaded region, which is what you want. So, concluding, <laughs> as a conclusion, your y value should be above minus 2, as in more than or equal to minus 2. And that is your second inequality, more than or equal to 
minus 2. And you can say this out loud, or well, you can do whatever in the actual exam, but trust me, you have two hours to do the um, entire exam, and this is really important. And you do not want to lose marks on not being able to tell where it is. All right. So now, this is slightly different. You have the y equals x minus 1. So because of the equation, thanks to the equation, we're able to tell, like, give some indication of whether it is more than or, e or um, more than or equal to or less than or equal to. So if I didn't mention um, earlier, the more than or equal to or the less than or equal to has to replace the equal sign in some way. And I've, I've already done that with the x equals 4 and the x equals and the y equals minus 2, sorry. And um, now I'm going to do it with y equals x minus 1. So, <clears throat> is it y is more than or equal to x minus 1, or is it y is less than or equal to x minus 1? And that's the main problem we have here. So we can look at the direction, and we want the shaded region, unshaded region here, sorry. <laughs> Made a mistake. We can say, okay, well, it has to be downwards. Uh, so it has to be underneath the line, in other words. So by that logic, well, you could say, all right, for simplicity's sake, let's call this line, forget the y equals x minus 1, let's just call this line here x minus 1, all right? Let's just forget the y equals x minus 1 for a while, and let's just call this line here x minus 1. So this boundary, we'll call it just x minus 1. And don't actually use this technique, like, don't apply this anywhere else except here. So, we call this line x minus 1. And now, let's look at, let's look at our y values, alright? So, if our y values are below x minus 1, that means they have to be, they have to be less than the line, right? Or less <laughs> than the line. So, or, if they're above, then they have to be more than the line. More than or equal to x minus 1. So, by that logic, if all your values, which are in the place that you want, which is the unshaded region, if all your values are below the line, that means they have to be below all x minus 1 values. So that means they have to be less than or equal to, um, less than or equal to, oh, sorry, stupid smudges. All right, that means they have to be <laughs> less than or equal to x minus 1. Your y values have to be less than or equal to x minus 1. Uh, if they were more than or equal to x minus 1, that means they would be above the line because your y values are above this x minus 1 line over here. So that is in fact our third inequality. So yes, thank you very much. That's So we have our three inequalities which bound the unshaded region and that is your x is less than or equal to 4, x is more than or equal to, well, I mean y is more than or equal to minus 2, and y is less than or equal to x minus 1. And hopefully you, that was helpful, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I may do more of these, because they're also good for, good for general storage and whatnot. So yeah, this is a feat, thank you.